Where must I be? If you check it back, God was going to prosper the man Abraham in a particular location. God said to him, Get thee out of thy country, from thy kindred, to a land that I will show you. And there, I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you. And thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless him that blesses you, and curse him that curses thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And so, Abraham departed. Genesis 12, 1 to 4. And so, Abraham departed. There is where you must be. Now listen. When the Lord is your shepherd, you are on the highway of prosperity. He said, you shall not want. He will make you to lie down on green pastures. He will restore your soul. He will prepare before you a table in presence of your enemies and your cup will run over. Surely, goodness and mercy will be following you as long as God is leading you. We shall join the presence of the Lord forever. So there's a place called there. Stop jumping from place to place. Stop jumping from business to business. Stop jumping from one workplace to another. There is a place called there. Lord, where have you prepared my table of prosperity? Where are you asking me to stand? Where have you apportioned my prosperity for me? There's a place called there. And if you look at it, he said, I am the Lord that leadeth thee in the way that thou shouldest go. I am the Lord that teacheth thee to profit. Isaiah 48 and verse 17. It's very important for us to know that the where is so important in the school of prosperity. You must be where your prosperity has been apportioned or you may die without it. Isaiah chapter 48 and verse 17. I am the Lord that leadeth thee in the way that thou shouldest go. I am the Lord that teacheth thee to profit. I am the Lord that teacheth thee to profit. Oh, that thou hast hearkened to my commandments, then had thy peace been as a river, and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea. Verse 19. Thy seed also had been as the sun, and the offspring of thy bowels like the gravel thereof. His name should not have been cut off, nor destroyed from before me. And verse 21. And they tasted not when he led them through the desert. When God is leading, he will cause streams to flow in your desert. Can I hear your amen? amen? He caused the waters to flow out of the rock for them and cleaved the rock also and the waters gushed out. I see favor gushing out for you from henceforth. Amen. They tasted not when he led them through the desert. He cleaved the rocks and the waters gushed out. They tasted not when he led them. Too many are leading themselves. But when God led them, they tasted not. Psalm 23 captures it very well. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down on green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He prepared the table before me in the presence of my enemies and my cup runneth over. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. It's so important to know that we must be guided by him in order to walk into the fullness of his purpose for our lives. So constantly inquire. Every time you are embarking on a chain, Lord, are you saying so? Am I on course? Or am I chasing after an eagle? Like a foolish hunter? What are you saying? They tasted not when he led them through the wilderness. They tasted not. He led our church here and we came into this bush. And we came into the bush and flourished more than when we were in town. They tasted not when he led them. 
You can't walk into the fullness of God's prosperity plan for you except you understand how to walk by divine guidance. From today, you will no more miss your steps in your walk in life. He tasted not when he led them. And when the Lord was their shepherd, he said, I shall not want. The Lord is the one leading me. I cannot be trapped by lack and want. The Lord is leading me. My enemies are now helpless. The Lord is leading me. My table is prepared always and my cup is always running over. May he continue to lead you from today. Yeah. I know with the Lord lead. The Lord will lead the meek. The one who is not full of himself. The one who believes that God knows better. The one who will do whatever God says and he will see it as a commandment. The one who will follow whatever correction God gives no matter how far he has gone. That's the one God will lead. I know there is a place prepared for each one here. There's an area of business mapped out for you in your life. May you not walk in another man's field. May you locate where you actually belong. Can I hear your loud amen? Amen.